Ready. Play. So the round table? This yes. is the round table. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> All right, we can go ahead and get started. First question, please. All right, on. So obviously a lot of ups and downs this year, but you have had some really great results and big moments. What does that mean kind of going into the rest of the season with still some big tournaments to play? Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, still a lot of great tournaments to play. Uh, and obviously uh, the WCA finals is there and uh, I really want to qualify. So uh, yeah, I'm just taking it slow. Uh, try to finish the season better than I started for sure, but uh, I'm feeling better. Hopefully healthy for the rest of the season um, and, and see what's gonna happen. Um, you've been struggling with your health on and off this year, um, and you still managed to reach a Wimbledon final. Um, a lot of your preparation for all the different surfaces wasn't ideal, but you've done some pretty incredible things. Um, does that give you confidence knowing that even when you're not at 100%, uh, you're able to adapt and still remain as one of the most dangerous players on tour? Yeah, I think um, being a tennis player is always about adapting. Uh, Especially, you know, we travel a lot. We, we get used to yeah. the lag and everything. So, so when when I when I got injured this year, uh, I think I I, I learned uh, uh, mostly how to handle all of that. And uh, even though not going uh, and having great preparation for most of the tournaments, um, I I know that I have you know good tennis in me. I know I can play great, great tennis. So I'm trying to use that and the experience I have to to just um, stay in the top ten and, and, and be a consistent player. You know? I was really Thank you. Has that experience like changed about training that maybe it's not so much time on the court but just in but we think they get a lot of periods as much as we we did spend a lot of time especially I was in the a lot of training, a lot of uh, uh, things like that. But yeah, uh, uh, we will, which we're always learning and trying to figure out why these injuries are coming and, and why health-wise it, it's not super great. But but yeah, definitely um, I'm someone if I'm not ready and I didn't like build like a good block of training, I won't do great results. So I think uh, I did a lot of great training and, and that's what helped me, you know, be for example in Wimbledon final. Next question. Any other questions? Um, hey, I would still have to help the opportunity to play in San Diego. Did you go out of line and come out here or did you make that decision? Yeah, it, it was in, in my schedule to, to stay uh, in play San Diego and, and the rest of the, mostly the, rest of the tournaments uh, on, the, on the schedule because I haven't played much this year, uh, especially in the end of the year. So. And uh, I saw last year how amazing it was San Diego and uh, I, I really want to win that, that surfing board. So, golf obviously winning winning the U.S. Open. What are your what are your thoughts on that? And any fun messages or interactions between either Arena becoming number one or Ons winning the U.S. Open that you can share? Uh, I'm, I'm not someone that sends messages really, uh, but uh, I've always said that golf will, will win her her Grand Slam one day. Uh, it's amazing to see that she's playing good, and, and most importantly, she's having fun on the court. That's really amazing. Uh, with Arena, I, I saw her at the US Open and uh, said congrats, and I believe she really deserved to be number one. Uh, she has everything, um, serve, um, big hair, like everything that she needs to be number one. And, and yeah, and hopefully that, that will motivate all of us, uh, and definitely we'll go there and chase her for sure. <laughs> so you've been on tour for a while, and you know, obviously each year you're gaining more wisdom. Some might ask why you would dedicate time. Well, if you know me, you know my personality that uh, I really like to help uh, players. I, I truly love this sport and believe this sport believes, I mean, deserves much better. It's um, like Novak said, we are the, the, the third most watched sport in the world and, and barely few players could make uh, a, a living out of this sport, which doesn't add up to uh, when you do the math, it's, it's unbelievable. I see so many players, they struggle. I did struggle back in the days uh, when I was playing uh, ITFs and stuff. So. For me, uh, such a beautiful sport, watched by a lot of uh, uh, people, should um, 
should be you know a, a lot more money in it but like money to just like enjoy the sport and not think about oh how i'm gonna pay my coach i need a physio with me you know we we pay mostly everything and and that's uh, that's okay uh, I, I, and i believe it's it's, it's fine but just uh, i feel like maybe we should have uh, maybe a uh, top 500 player should be good paid so they don't have to pay worry about the money worry about anything else but just enjoy the, this beautiful sport I have a. a oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. You inspire them when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I have more of a health or lifestyle question for you. Yes. Uh, because I'm curious, kind of, you know, obviously, performance, uh, a lot, of, a big aspect of that is kind of what you also put in your body as, as fuel. So I'm curious, like, how does your diet differ when you're in tournament mode versus, you know, in your off days or when you're when you're not when you're not playing tournaments? Like, what does that daily diet kind of look like? Yeah, I mean, I do believe that anybody is different. Uh, my body is much different than any other player. Uh, but yeah, when you're training harder, definitely you need more. Uh, you know, you need more fuel. And when I'm resting, uh, I try not to eat as much because I'm, I'm not burning anything and I'm not moving much. Uh, but yeah, I, I believe in um, healthy style. We, we, we do eat a lot of rice and, and pasta and chicken and salmon. Which sometimes I'm sick of it <laughs> because you know it's it's something like you eat every day and. It happens with me that I eat the same thing every day, so yeah, I sometimes try to enjoy, you know, because I love food and Tunisian yeah. food is really so amazing. So I try to go to my mom so she can cook an amazing dish for me, and that maybe that gives you the motivation for the for the whole season. Last question here. Um, Forgot. Does your mom make a good baklava? Yes, but that's that's sweet. I mean, I don't know if you know couscous. Yes, she yes. She makes the best couscous yeah. in the world. In mm -hmm. my opinion, it's <laughs> 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 uh, a family secret. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, thank everyone. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So you had never been surfing? Is that what you said? Never. Okay. okay. I mean, we don't have big waves in Tunisia. Right. So. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I, thought you I chased the one. small waves. <laughs> 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 so, do you guys want to move the table under here? Yes. Yes. And we have a game that's on that table that we're going to move over here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.